Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to use lossless scaling in Magpie, which most of you probably already know how to do. I'm going to teach you how to fix all the common issues and problems you have, along with giving you some general tips that you probably did not know about. So, first thing I want to start off with is probably the one that almost everyone here knows, and that is how to use it. So, go to display settings, and you see the display resolution, that is what FSR upscales to. So whatever this is set as is what it will try to upscale to. Okay, now go. Now I'm gonna go back to the game. Go to options. Now, how you do it is you set your game to windowed, and then you set the resolution that you want to upscale from. So 1080p. You put it to that, and then you then you use the technology. So that is how it works. Most of you probably already knew that. So let's get on to the second part of the video, which is I mean, why are you losing FPS in certain games but gaining them in others? Why is this so inconsistent? And also, how do you fix that and just generally improve FPS in general? Well, <clears throat> as you see, I'm getting about 1, 128 FPS at native 1440p. Let me lower that to this, put this at like uh, 75 internal. So I'm getting about 180 FPS now at this resolution. So let me do this. So these these are the default settings that you kind of want. You want to have this at 1.0 center force resize and this selected to AMD FSR and then sharpness is subjective. Okay, so now let me demonstrate with the default and best settings. So as you can see, I'm getting about 150 FPS now, so I have lost FPS compared to the internal resolution, but I have gained FPS compared to the native resolution. So that's kind of how FSR is, you know, it's sort of in between native and internal in terms of resolute, in terms of performance. So this is not a game where you lose FPS when you use this technology. But let me teach you why you're losing FPS and also how to fix it. So you can see I'm getting 150 when I'm not using it, 180. It does look much better though, so it is worth the trade-off. It's much less blurry. Now, on video, the vi it may appear very over-sharpened, but in person, it does not look that over-sharpened. I don't know why. I think it's because of all the white, the highlights in Warzone, and it doesn't appear well on video. But let me put this to 1.16, the scale. Let me go into game and do this. Now look at how much FPS I'm getting. I'm getting about 175. I'm basically getting the same FPS I'm getting at the internal resolution. And if I go to the internal, you notice it looks much better. So that is the secret to why you are losing FPS. Is the default 1.0 factor is the best. It looks the best. The higher you go, it looks ever so slightly worse. And you don't you never want to go 2.0, because FSR only works with values from 1 to 2.0 doesn't work with anything higher it'll look ugly but the scale has to do with your how big the performance gain is so if it's at 1.0 in a game and you get less performance that's just how that game is you know so you gotta you know experiment 1.1 1.2 oh I'm gaining FPS now maybe it looks a little too ugly okay let me find a value in between like 1.6 I'm um, actually gonna try 1.7 because I want to try to get equivalent or better FPS to the internal so 178 right now yeah so 1.17 uh, for me at this resolution is about equivalent to internal so I'm basically running the game at whatever res resolution I picked earlier but it looks much better than that resolution there's no performance disadvantage to this at all so that's the big uh, secret <clears throat> and I learned this through experimentation. I'm doing all the hard work and taking the time uh, to do all this for you guys. Now, let me show you, because this is the max value you can use. If you go higher, it'll look way too ugly. So I'm gaining, I have about 230 FPS. But as you can see, the result looks, it basically looks about the same as the other, as the, uh, internal but there's slightly more jaggies and it removes the blur so there's a downside and a, and a plus side to it so this actually may be s superior 
given how much FPS you're gaining. But yeah, that's why if you have to go too high, it'll look bad. But again, <clears throat> if I do something like 1.2, I'm actually gaining it. I'm, I'm actually getting more FPS than the internal resolution in 186 compared to 178, and it does look better still than the internal. So the question is, is you know, do you do you want it to look like native, or do you just want it to look better than the internal resolution? It depends on how grateful you are and what you're trying to do, and how much performance you want, and all that stuff. Now, I'm going to teach you about over sharpness. So, if you're getting, if the game looks too over sharped, obviously, because the default value is 0 0.5, you can change it to 0 0.4, 0 0.1, until you get to whatever value you want. But if you're an AMD user, go into Radeon Software, go into your game, and if you have this enabled, you're going to want to lower the value, or you're going to want to disable it. So if you disable it and it's too soft, and if when it's enabled it's too sharp, then that means you just want to lower it instead of completely getting rid of it. Probably put this to... 0 0.80 because I don't really need FSR for this game and another thing you want to do is also check all of your games and you should see loss of scaling here if it's still too sharp after doing that of course you can lower this value or you can disable it because honestly having Radeon image sharpening enabled for lossless then for your game and then having the sharpness from FSR oh, that's like three different sharpness is applied so it's very easy for the game to look over sharpened uh, so you have to either turn them off and if it looks too blurry you can leave it on but then just lower it so I actually forgot to uh, lower this I have it at the default value but uh, I definitely would have lowered it if I remember to uh, I'll try 0. Uh, I'll try 50 I haven't messed around with it too much so that is the secret to over sharpness if you're in a video user and you're experiencing over sharpness again just lower the value here <clears throat> for magpie magpie does not work in this game unfortunately if you're getting negative fps with magpie there's absolutely nothing you can do just use loss of scaling at that point but if the magpie is over sharpened go to zoom go to open config scroll down until you see fsr and this right here and this you can change the sharpness value of these and it'll make it look less sharp and make the image look to your liking. So these are all the secrets to uh, the injected FSR. Uh, actually, the, it's not all the secrets. So if you have loss of scaling, right click on it and disable Steam Overlay and use Game Theater while Steam VR is active because you don't need it for this. And then also get a launch options. I don't have it here for this video because I'm trying to test FPS and do plus FPS max and then cap your frame rate to whatever you want so let's say this is what I want it as I believe that's the correct command and if it is I'll, I'll leave it in the description so now <clears throat> that should help with stuttering if you, if you want to know why there are stutters when you use these injectors. It's because when you're in windowed mode, FreeSync doesn't work properly. So what you want to do is you definitely want to cap your FPS uh, either using Steam, Launch Options, or RTSS. That'll help with stutters. So you need to use a frame rate capper. Now, even if you're not using FSR, it's recommended to use a frame rate capper. You'll, get, you'll just get better input delay, uh, especially if you put it uh, 2 FPS under your hertz. Uh, that's that's the best way to improve latency. One other thing I forgot to include was type in performance and you see a Jess appearance for best performance and select this. The reason why you want to select this is because be, if you're in windowed mode, like these things tend to not have an impact on your performance really, especially if your PC isn't constrained. But 
if your PC is constrained or if you're playing in windowed mode, this this stuff can affect your performance because the game your your computer has to render this since you're in windowed mode. So if you put this for best performance, it will look uh, better. I personally like to leave everything as is, except I put smooth edges of screen fonts on. This is how I like it. So this can improve performance uh, somewhat for uh, people that are playing in windowed mode, which you have to do to use this technology. So that's going to be it for the video now. It's officially over. So thanks for watching. Peace out.